Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. I want to take a little bit of time and show you a coach that we just got in uh, just the other day. This is a 2024 Four Winds 28A. You might say, hey, what does the A stand for? Well, after you're out shopping around, you're going to say, you know what? That is the apple of my eye right there. Okay, so let's just take a little bit of time and kind of walk around and see what we got. Okay, first of all, we're on the Ford chassis, which is the E450. It's a 7.3 liter V8 with 325 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque. So you got plenty of power to go out and see this great country of ours, east coast, west coast, north, south, anywhere you wanna go. You can do it right here. So we'll start in the front. You got a molded fiberglass front cap there, which you have your Four Winds logo right on the front. So the molded fiberglass is gonna give you a nice clean look for over the years. You can also see up top, you have your running lights up top. And then Mr. Cameraman, if you can go ahead and show them up top there. It's on the TPO roof, which you do have the radius, so you get the nice runoff there for you. You'll be able to see your 13.5 air conditioner. You'll be able to see your WineGuard 2.0 TV antenna. Um, you got the solar charger up on the top as well too. Okay, and it's a TPO roof, okay. So if we come on around and we look around here, you got your side mirrors here, which are extended, which you have the big mirror and then the smaller mirror. We've also brought this in with the side mounted cameras. So what do the side mounted cameras do for you? When you turn your turn signal on, it'll show you down the side of the coach. So that way you don't have any blind spots. So whichever way you're turning, it'll turn the camera on in your monitor and you can be able to see everything down the side of the coach. Okay, in our first compartment here, we have our 4,000 watt generator. What that'll do for you is you got 55 gallons of fuel. As long as you got a quarter of tank that'll run, you can kick your generator on, runs right off of your fuel line, and that'll power everything on the inside of the coach. Your air conditioner, your TVs, your refrigerators will power everything in the coach for you, okay? Now, when you're on your solar panel, which you have on the coach, that will be able, so if you're out dry camping, you're at a race, whatever it may be, you turn that solar panel on and that you'll be able to run your lights. You can't run your air conditioner and your microwave, but you can run the lights right off of the solar, okay? Then right here, we have our 40 pounds of LP. So the LP is gonna help you run your hot water heater, your stove and your furnace. Okay, here we have our hot water heater right here which is a Gerard tankless hot water heater. So that we don't have to worry about ever running out of hot water. So just take as long of a shower as you like. Here you have a little bit more storage. You do have a light right there. This is the back of your furnace. Right here is where you have for your 30 amp power cord. Okay, which you do have this light on. It is all marine sealed. So you don't have to worry about any of the bugs or anything crawling into the coach. When you have it plugged in and you got your power, that light will come on, let you know you got the power source. If that light doesn't come on, then you're not getting power from the power source, so you need to go talk to the campground and ask them if they can turn your electric on, okay? Then here you have for your cable connection, so if the park offers cable, you can do that right there, okay? Then here we have our dump station, okay, which we have 40 gallons of fresh, 22 gallons of gray, and 25 gallons of black. The fresh water is your potable water, the gray water is what comes out of your sink and out of your shower, and then the black water is what comes out of the stool, okay? Here's where you have your fill up for your fuel, which you got 55 gallons of fuel. Okay, here you also have your black water flush. You just take your hose, hook it up to this, open up the black water valve, and then that way it'll go in and give you sprayers. So that way you don't get any false readings for you. So here you have your city water connection. You just take your hose from the park, hook it up here, run right off the city water connection. That'll give you water all the way through. Then here's where you have your gravity fill for that 40 gallons of fresh. You can just take your hose, fill it up there, turn your water pump on, and you got 40 gallons of fresh water, okay? Then back here, we have some storage right here, okay? It's got a table right there for you. This particular one we brought in with the outside kitchen, okay? So on this coach, you might say, how much exterior storage does it have? Part of the Apple, 108.8 .8 cubic feet of outside storage. And a little 28 foot coach. Yeah, Mr. Cameraman's even shocked by that. Okay, then here we have the store, some more storage right there. Okay, you do have your bumper in the back, which you do have the parts you can take off there and store your sewer hose in the bumper. You got an 8,000 pound hitch on the back, okay, with your plug ins right there. So if you want to tow your vehicle, tow a trailer, whatever it may be, tow a boat, you can do that right there. There you also see that you have your backup camera. 
Okay, so that way when you put it into reverse, it'll show you what's going on back here, makes it easier to park for you and get into the campsite, okay? Then you have your ladder right here, which you can get up and go on to the ladder itself. And it's a 250 pound weight limit, so if you wanna go up and do your yearly maintenance, you can do that right there. Again, you have the gel coat fiberglass with the Asdell backer on there, so you don't have to worry about delamination on the coach. Then we come here, we're on the patio side now, okay? So here, what we have, so I was telling you earlier, we brought it in with the outside kitchen. So you have your griddle right here. You do have your 12 volt cooler right there, which you can take off. It's got the wheels on it, so that way you can put it around wherever you want. Cook on the outside, you have your nice little light right there, so that way if you're cooking at night, cooking up the fish, cooking up the hamburgers, the hot dogs, just feeding everybody from the great adventure you just out, had out here in this great country of ours, creating memories. This is your light switch for that little light right there. Okay, we do have lights on the inside, but you gotta turn on your switch on the inside in order for the lights to work down there for you. Okay, then right here, you have your LP quick connect. So you just take your LP line from the griddle right here, hook it up here. It'll run right off of that 40 pounds of LP. So that way you can do your cooking right there. Here's where you have your outside shower. So if you go out, you've been out at the beach, been out at the dunes, catching some fish, want to clean some fish, whatever it is, you can do it right here. If you're really bold and you want to shower outside, you can do it right there as well too, okay? So here you have your 14 foot awning, okay? Which you do have the ability to adjust the pitch, that way the water can run off for you. You have your LED light strip right there. So you can sit out here and talk about everything that you've seen, you've done, the great memories that you've created, okay? This chassis itself, they take the more ride, so that way they can extend the chassis. That way it's in one-tenth of an inch of being completely square all the way from front to back, so that way you got a really good foundation and get a nice smooth ride. Here's where you have some plug-ins, so if you want to do an outside TV, you got to charge your phones, do your laptop, whatever it is, you can plug it in right there for you, okay? You have your nice door handle right here. Here's where you have some more storage. Again, 108.8 cubic feet of outside storage, okay? Then again, you have your mirror on this side, and then again, you have your side-mounted camera here for you, okay? Another nice thing that I like to point out on Thor, one of the best warranties in the industry. 12-year structural warranty and a six-year lamination warranty. Just peace of mind that gives you the absolute best warranty in the industry. Okay, you also see you have your slider window right here, so that way you can get some airflow. You also have a slider window back there for you as well. Okay, so now let's just take some time. We'll go in and take a look. Here's where you have your screen door. That way it's not too hot. You're not running the air conditioner. You can take this, pull this over, and keep the bugs from getting in and out and just have some nice, fresh airflow. Right down here, then, is where we have our battery for your house battery stored right in there. Okay. Then here, this is where I can do my awning right here for the power awning. Okay, my awning light right there, my step light right here. Okay, and then this here so I can turn on my cargo lights right here. Then some of my, there's another step light right there. And then some interior lights right here. This is your solar panel to tell you exactly how many volts you got right there. This is to turn the coach off and on from the house battery itself. So that way when you're storing it, just turn it to off. Another nice feature Thor gives you is the AGS. What is AGS? Auto gen starts. So that way you can set it up for the voltage. Your voltage gets low, you're dry camping. Kick the generator on, help you charge up the coach. Okay, so let's come on inside. Again, it's a 28 foot, 28A class C. Okay, so up top here, we have our bed. Okay, then you also see these little hooks right here. You also have on your bed here, the safeties right here. Okay, so this way when somebody's sleeping in it, you can take this, hook it up on here, and that way that nobody will fall out of the bed. You do have your two cup holders right there. Here's where you have some air conditioning vents right there. You have your TV, which is on a swing arm. So that way people out here can be able to watch the TV right there for you. Another nice feature right here is this fantastic fan. Okay, so say if it's not too hot, open up all your windows, turn this on, you got three speeds. That'll help circulate the air throughout the coach for you, okay? So again, we're on the Ford chassis. Something that I wanna show you that is an M60 RV exclusive. If you're out shopping around, might say to the salesperson, hey, I want how many miles does that coach have on it? Okay, so. Nice thing on this coach right here. This coach has 76.7 miles on it, 
Okay, so why is that important? The reason that it's important is you're going to be the first person to drive this coach, put the first critical miles on it. Did the driver who left from the Michigan area to get to your particular dealer, did he do the proper break-in mileage? Did he take it over 60 or did he hammer it down to 80? I, I don't know. It's a good question. Did he have a pet with him that he slept in it? Did they sleep in it? Did they use the bathroom? Did they use any of the appliances? I don't know. Just some great questions. M60 RV, you don't have to worry about that. 78 miles on this coach. That's it. Under 100 miles. An exclusive. A lot of the worlds, the lazy people out there, they do not have those particular things. Okay? We do. Okay? Your normal Ford truck chassis right here. This is for your AM FM stereo. And then it also will act as your backup camera as well as your side camera then. So that way when you turn on the turn signals, it'll show you that there. In fact, we'll just turn it on here. I'll turn on the turn signal. There's for our right side. Okay. Then we turn it on and there's our left side. Okay, so that way you guys, you can see, you're not gonna be able to have that blind spot or whatever it may be right there. So you can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so this particular coach here, this is your dinette right here, which you do have your two cup holders right here. So okay. we have some folks ask us if they could let us know what the MSRP is. The MSRP on this particular coach is 146 462 The optional equipment we brought in is the exterior pull-out kitchen with the griddle and the 12-volt cooler. Heated remote and exterior mirrors with the side cameras. Leatherette, driver and passenger seats there for you. Dash applique. Applique. Applique, yes. Cab over child safety net. 12-volt attic fan in the overhead bunk. 12-volt attic fan in the bedroom. A second auxiliary battery. And it does have the holded heating tanks for the holder. So you got heat pads on your holding tanks. So when you flip the switch on, which is going to be, we'll show you a little bit later on in the process. Okay. So you got your dinette right here. Okay. So you can sleep two people right here. Okay. You do have a plug in right there for you as well. Okay. Now this table will break down and it will make another bed for you. Okay. Then you have your couch right here, which you have two more seat belts. This will flip out and make a bed. Can sleep two more people on there. You can see you have the nice big window with the slider window here. You have the slider window on this side, so that way you can get a nice airflow throughout the coach. Okay. This right here, then, you have your four apps for one membership. Okay. One year free with an RV purchase. So what it'll do for you is a Camp Diem, the Road Trippers, RV Village, and To Go RV. Okay. That's all comes with you for the first year. We'll help you with your when you're out camping and getting to your destination. Okay, so here we do have a 13.5 air conditioner right here, which does have the air ducts all the way through, and you do have the quick cool. So you just open these up, and 80% of your air will dump out of here, 20% will still go through the air ducts. Okay, so as for storage, we've got some storage right here, some more storage right there. This is your um, cover for your front here. Okay, so that way, if you want to cover up the front when you're at your destination so people can't see in the coach, you can do it right there. We have some more storage right here, okay? Some more storage right here, all on the magnetic catches right there for you, okay? So, and then we get into the kitchen area. You have your nice big farmer sink with the high-rise faucet with the pull-out sprayer, okay? So that way you can do your dishes right there. You have your kitchen window. You have some more storage right here. Some more storage right here. The white cabinetry really gives it a nice bright look all the way throughout, okay? Right here, we have some drawers right there. More drawers right there. <clears throat> some more drawers right here. Then right here, we have our command center. Remember I told you you had the heated pads on the black and the gray tank? You just flip this button on right here, and it'll turn those heating pads on for you, so you don't have to worry about freezing up. You have your water pump right there, so if you're dry camping, this is where you can start your generator. And then here's where you can tell all your levels for your LP, your battery, your fresh water, your black water, and your gray water okay so you have all that right there then in the kitchen we have some more storage right here okay and then you have your microwave right here okay so i do some popcorn heat it up here's where you have your three burner cooktop but you have your backsplash will just fold up for you right there another nice feature on this one which we noticed on the last one this is a beautiful little feature okay see how this is all blue right here Okay, so these are all blue. This is where you can turn it in order to light your burners right here. Okay, so you don't have to use a match or whatever it is. It's an automatic light. So I turn that on. What's it do? It turns red. 
to why is that important? Say, for example, you're cooking, somebody gets distracted, the kids are out playing, you come back in, you can just look, say, hey, if that's red, then I've got my burner on, and just take it, turn it to off, and then it turns it blue, okay? You do have your oven right here for you, okay? And then you do have your refrigerator, which is a 12-volt refrigerator. Look at how deep that is, okay? And look at the freezer right there for you. And then you can adjust your temperatures right there for you, okay? So you can get a lot of food in there, okay? Plenty of fish, whatever it is. This right here, then, you can take. And then when you're going down the road, it'll prevent the refrigerator door from coming open, okay? And there you have some more storage, okay? So let's just take a look. And this little 28-foot, another crowd favorite, okay? How many doors and drawers do I have? Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve doors and drawers, and just a kitchen and the living area. So you got plenty of place to put your stuff. Also underneath the dinette right there, that's where you have your fuse box and your breakers. I recommend you get some uh, extra fuses, carry them with you so you don't have to run into town. Okay. So we went over that. So here we have our shower. You got your shower curtain right there, okay? You can just open up. You got your skylight over the top, so you got plenty of area. This is another nice little feature that Four Winds offers for you. It's the Shower Meister. So what does the Shower Meister do for you, okay? Shower Meister, what it'll do is it'll go from your hot water tank back into your fresh water tank and keep circulating when you get it to the temperature that you want it to have that you've desired right here this will change colors and let you know that you can step in there so that way you're not just running your water and then filling up your gray tank you're using it efficiently in the way that it should be for you okay then right here come on back here mr cameraman you see this door here will also shut so that way you can have some privacy right there okay then here we have our bathroom which we can turn our lights on Here's where you have your fan right there for you, okay? Got the porcelain stool with the foot flush, gonna make it very easy for you to clean. Here's where you also have some storage right here. Here's where you also have your medicine cabinet. Have your mirror right there so you can just see how beautiful you are. This is another nice thing right here, okay? You have your 360 siphon vent. I love this saying on this. You smell that? Well, of course not. You got the siphon 360 vent, so it's gonna take everything out of there for you, okay? Nice little places to hang some towels right here for you, okay? Then right here is where you can set your water heater temperature, okay? Got your toilet paper roll right there, your bathroom sink, some plug-ins right here for you, okay? Then we'll come on around here. Now we've got our queen bed. You got storage on either side. You got a plug-ins right there for you. So that way if you want to plug in your phones or whatever it may be, you can do it right there. Here's your bedroom light switch. Here's what we also have for your TV. If you want to do a bedroom TV, you can hook it up right there. And there's your air conditioner and your furnace controls. So we can get it to the temperature that you want. Okay. And here we have some hanging space storage right here. A nice little drawer right there. We have some more storage right here. Again, you have your three-speed fantastic fan right there for you. Okay. Windows on either side. So that way you can get some good airflow all the way throughout. And here we have some more hanging space right here. This is for your ladder to get into your bunk right there for you. You have drawers right here, drawers right there, and some more storage right here, okay? And that's nice and deep there for you as well too, so you can get a lot of stuff in there. Okay, now you also have your air ducts back here for you. You got your heat duct back there, okay? So a 2024 Four Winds 28A. Do we remember what the A stands for? Apple. It's going to be the apple of your eye after you're out shopping around. Great little thing here. Remember, how many miles does it have on it? 78 miles. Why is that important? You'll be the first person to drive it. We have a saying here. We like to say that you come in as strangers and you leave as friends. You're not a number like you are at some of the worlds and some of the lazy places. You're not number 328674. No, you're Mr. and Mrs. Cameraman or Mr. and Mrs. RV Whisperer. Okay, so you're actually people. We want you to have a good time. We want you, when you go out and you do purchase this, we'd like to have you on your first adventure, send us a picture. Show us a picture of you and your family out showing how it is, how you're having fun. Okay, so again, you can find us at m60rv.com. We can come and see it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put it into the comment section. We'll be more than happy to go back over anything that we might have missed or if there's something else that you want to see. Again, if you're still here, we appreciate you watching. And, oh, one more thing. Wonder what the sale, what is the sale price, Mr. Cameron?
1039. Okay. Now you might ask, which a lot of people ask me, hey, Mr. Whisperer, how long does that sale last? This sale will last until we sell this coach. Then the sale's over. Okay. We might be able to get, we can get you another one. I don't know if it would be the same price, but at our sale price of the 1039, that's good until we sell this one. A lot of bang for the buck in this coach, and I think it's a great way for you and your family to go out and see this great country of ours. If you're still here, thanks for watching.